Greetings fellow earthlings and viewers across the world wide web. This is Tune215. And right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're gonna be doing a virtual tour of the Allegheny West hood here in North Philadelphia. It is about 56 degrees right now. We're passing Silver Street. Approaching Seltzer Street. We're traveling northbound. Northbound on 27th Street, right at the intersection of 27th and Somerset. Allegheny West is a residential neighborhood. We're at 27th and Cambria Street. We're approaching the intersection of 27th and Commerce Ave. Now we're at 27th and Indiana Ave. Commerce runs to our left-hand side. Indiana Ave runs to our right. We're approaching Toronto Street. We have a playground on our left-hand side. It's called James Allen Schiller Playground. We have a school on our right hand side which appears to have been refinished. The building looks pressure washed, the bricks look repointed, and the windows look like they were replaced. We're at 27th and Clearfield in the Allegheny West neighborhood. On our right hand side, we have one of the SEPTA public transportation garages, which is where they house, repair, and work on their SEPTA buses. Located right here at 27th and Allegheny Ave. This bus in front of us has their flashes on, so I'm assuming they want us to go around them because this is their hub. So we're gonna go around the bus. We're at 27th and Allegheny. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. On Allegheny Avenue. We have the 2700 block of Allegheny Avenue to our left, the 2600 block of Allegheny Avenue to our right. Now, Allegheny Avenue is a main art, an artery that allows you to travel through the different neighborhoods. You can take Allegheny Avenue westbound or eastbound and you'll pass through several different neighborhoods. This is the South Pennsylvania or Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority, that SEPTA, that SEPTA hub that I was talking about on my right hand side. You can see the buses through the garage. Let's make this right hand turn on 26th Street. We're turning off of Allegheny.
We're at Clearfield and 26th Street. Right now we're traveling southbound on 26th Street. We got the Ruth W. Hair Center on our right, which is next to that school building that I was referring to. I'm uncertain if they repurposed the building for another reason. That could be for that Roof Hair Center. Passing Toronto. If you know the name of that school or the school that used to be there, feel free to drop it in the comment section. We're at 26 and in Indiana Avenue. We're gonna continue traveling southbound on 26th Street. They're doing some street work right here. Now this street is wide enough for them to do street work and it not impede traffic. Some streets are more narrow. This block is wide enough to have two, maybe three cars drive through it. Preferably it's for two. It's designed for two cars to pass through it. But you can work on one side of the street and not have it bother the other side of the street. So traffic can still move forward. We're passing Cambria. We're at 26 in Cambria. So I was driving a lot slower on the earlier blocks, less than 10, 15 miles an hour, but I do have a cheese bus behind me. He just beeped at me. Now I'm doing 19 miles per hour. I'm sure they want me to go faster. They're traveling with kids, I would assume. We're at 26 in Somerset. He turned, had a bus full of kids and he was ready to go fast. We're passing Seltzer. Now we're passing Silver Street. And we're about to pass Sterner, Sterner Street. Now we're approaching Lehigh Avenue. Lehigh Avenue is the main artery that separates the Strawberry Mansion Hood from the Allegheny West Hood. Both hoods have a high crime rate based on crime stats provided by the Philadelphia Police Department and websites like areavibes.com. Let's make this left-hand turn on Lehigh Avenue. If we would have went forward, we would have been in Strawberry Mansion but we're not covering Strawberry Mansion for this portion. We have a little commercial strip. You can see businesses on our right hand side, supermarkets, beauty stores, cleaners, corner stores and whatnot. We're gonna make this left hand turn on 25th Street. We have California license plate on my right hand side. Passing Sterner. We just passed the 2500 block of Sterner on our left and now we're passing the 2500 block of Silver Street on our left. And now we're about to pass the 2500 block of Seltzer Street to our left hand side. We're at 25th and Somerset. So based on areavibes.com as the source of this information, Allegheny West receives an F rating for crime. Total crime is said to be 345% above the national average. We're at 25th and Cambria Street. Thank you. 
Now we're at 25th and Indiana Avenue. Indiana Avenue is also known as Reverend Dr. A.W. Dockway. They do that in some parts of the city. They rename a specific block or avenue or street name after a public figure or somebody who had influence in the city. So every now and then, there'll be a sign under the actual street sign with a different name. We just passed Elkhart, and now we're passing Toronto Street to our right. We're at 25th and Clearfield. I do have traffic behind me. There's about three different vehicles behind me. So I'm gonna try to go with the flow of traffic. Violent crime in the Allegheny West Hood is 674% above the national average. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn on Allegheny Avenue, the 2400 block of Allegheny Avenue. We're at 25th and Allegheny. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn. It's a do not enter in front of us. Even though it's a do not enter, even if we cross over to that side, that's still considered the Allegheny West Hood. Unlike when you're in Strawberry Mansion, if you cross over the main avenue, then you're no longer in Strawberry Mansion. Over here, you would still cross over and it'll still be considered Allegheny West. Let's make this right-hand turn on 24th Street. I see a Rue, R-E-W, on my left-hand side of that building, going straight down the building. I met that young man once when he was earlier in his graffiti career, and it appears that he's putting in that work. Beautiful Monte Carlo on my left-hand side, Monte Carlo Supersport. So as you can see, these properties on my left and on my right are pushed a bit further back. They have a porch and they also have a little front lawn. Now, that same thing isn't gonna apply for the next block. Each block varies. We're passing 24th and Clearfield. So on my right, you don't see too many houses on our right facing street side, but on our left, you have houses facing the street side. Many of them have porches. However, not all of them have a little lawn, which means a little patch of grass. Some of them have patches of grass, some of them don't. We're passing Mayfield, the 2400 block of Mayfield to our right. And now we're approaching Indiana Avenue, 24th and Indiana Avenue. You could look at the rooftop, the crown on my left hand side, the style versus the crown on my right hand side. Two different styles. I'm traveling about 15 miles an hour. I do have a vehicle behind me, tailing me. We're at 24th in Cambria, passing Cambria Street. Since this is a double lane street, I'm just gonna pull over to the side and allow the vehicle to go by. So it doesn't impede on your viewing experience. Property crime in the Allegheny West Hood is 283% above the national average. We're at 24th and Somerset. Traveling about 15 miles an hour southbound towards Lehigh Avenue, which is the boundary which separates Strawberry Mansion from Allegheny West. We're gonna make this left hand turn on the 2300 block of Lehigh Avenue. So, for the purpose of this video, we will not be passing Lehigh Avenue. We're gonna to try to stay within the realms of Allegheny West. You can see the crossing guard on my right hand side across the street. She's standing there with a bright yellow vest, waiting for the school students to come out. 
We're gonna make this left hand turn on the 2300 block of Lehigh Avenue. Let's make this left hand turn on the 2700 block of Judson, which is a much smaller street. I'm gonna take you guys through the smaller streets also so you can see what they look like. So if you ever want to look up quick facts or stats about a neighborhood in any state, in any city in America, aerialvibes.com has a fair amount of information. That's what we're referring to when it comes to these stats. We're passing Judson, Somerset and Judson. You can feel free to look it up at the luxury of your own time. Some quick crime facts about the Allegheny West Hood. It is said that you have a 1 in 10 chance of becoming a victim of crime in this neighborhood. Allegheny West is safer than 0% of the cities in Pennsylvania. 0%. Right, Cambria and Judson Street. We're traveling northbound up Judson. There's a property for sale on my right. 2937 Judson Street, Philadelphia, PA. If any of you guys would like to look up the property value of what that house is selling for. We're at the intersection of Indiana Ave and Judson Street. The gentleman on my right opened up his door and two cats came out to sit on the steps with him. We're gonna continue traveling towards the 3100 block of Judson Street. So we can go left and that'll take us to Allegheny Ave or we can go right. I think I'm gonna go right. Left is still considered Allegheny West, but we're gonna go right. Now, Allegheny West was once an industrial neighborhood. Back in its earlier inception, there was a lot of warehouses and factories. So I don't know if you notice, there's plenty of warehouses and factories in the area. Many popular ones, such as the Tasty Cake Corporation and the Bud Factory was located here as well as many other small warehouses that employed a majority of the neighborhood. Once the job market went down and went overseas in the 70s, many of the jobs went out the door and the neighborhood fell in decay.
We're passing Clearfield Street. We're on Fox Street. Traveling down the 3000 block of Fox Street. We just passed Hamburger. And now we're passing Toronto Street on our left. And then we have Krosky Street to our right. We have another police paddy wagon in front of us. It's a police unit. We're at a red light here. I'm not sure if these people in front of us are waiting for the light or are they parked up? What exactly is happening? I'm uncertain. Nobody is in the vehicle in front of the cop car. So the cop is actually just parked up with his foot on his brake. We sat there through a whole green light when we didn't need to. That was my mistake. All right. We're passing Indiana, Indiana Avenue. This is another little commercial strip where local residents can come and shop and get their medicine. There's a pharmacy, mobile electronics store, a Jamaican restaurant on our right, hair product store, a child care academy, a seafood and fish business spot. There's a dentist on our left. Fried chicken on our right. Florida tags on our right. Family Dollar, Benjamin Jewelers on our left. We're passing Cambria. We're on 22nd Street, another crossing guard on our right. Traveling southbound on 22nd Street. We have a pretty big mural that covers the span of this building on my right. I see Dr. Martin Luther King. I see a graduate. I see a Jeep, several children, and it says, I too have a dream. Right next to the 33 slash 400 series SEPTA bus stop. We're at the intersection of 22nd and Somerset Street. We're gonna continue traveling forward past Somerset. North Philadelphia Municipal Service Center on our left. We're approaching Lehigh Avenue. You have a group of people across the street getting on to the SEPTA bus. This is a high school on our left-hand side, and it looks like a fair amount of students are coming out of school. We're gonna make this left-hand turn on Lehigh Avenue, coming off of 22nd Street. That's Morel Dobbins Vocational School on our left-hand side. We're at 21st and Lehigh Avenue. On our left-hand side is a Deliverance Evangelistic Church. That's the location of the original Connie Mack Stadium ballpark, Shives Park. 
you can find a lot of historic photos of what this corner used to look like before they put that church there. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We have a road rager on our left. See how he just flew past me? I don't know if you guys uh, heard the horn being pressed. We have some pink flowers coming in on our left. What's the saying? April showers brings May flowers. We're at 20th in Somerset. I'm just coasting on neutral and I'm uncertain if the camera does justice for the type of terrain that I'm driving over, but it feels like I'm going over like a destruction derby course. It's very bumpy, very wavy roads. We're at 20th in Cambria. This gentleman right here is reversing. Um, Okay, he decided to go straight, so we're gonna make this left-hand turn. Now we're traveling westbound. We're gonna do a little bit of westbound to eastbound. For the last few minutes, we did northbound, southbound. Now we're gonna do some westbound, eastbound. We're traveling west past Lambert Street. If you hear a lot of noises and sound effects, that's because the road is very bumpy. We're at 21st in Cambria. We're passing Van Pelt Street. We have a dollar store on our right, as well as a fashion business fashion apparel. Chinese store on our left and Alex's supermarket on our left. So when you live in a city, most businesses are walking distance. So if you need milk, if you need basic cold cuts, if you need beverages, junk food, you can usually just walk to a corner market, a corner store, and you can buy what you need without having to get in your vehicle. We're at 23rd in Cambria. In most hoods across Philadelphia, you'll find a lot of corner stores on every corner. You'll find a lot of Chinese stores on every other corner. You'll find a lot of beer distributors also. Cold beer or bars. We're at 23rd and Cambria Street. We're gonna continue traveling westbound on the 2300 block of Cambria. We're passing Bonsal, Cambria and Bonsal. I do have a vehicle behind me, so I'm driving upwards of 18, 19 miles an hour. We're at 24th in Cambria. So a recent shooting, six ABC reports, seven shot, two fatally gunned down in North Philadelphia's Allegheny West neighborhood. At least 70 shots fired. We're passing Ringgold. And now we're passing Taylor Street. I'm gonna pull over to the right just to allow the people who wanna go around me to go around me. We 
gonna allow this next vehicle to go by me. We're at 25th in Cambria. Now we're passing Stillman Street. We're approaching 26th Street. We're at 27th Street. 27th in Cambria. We're passing Marston Street. 2800 block of Marston. And now we're at Commerce Ave. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. We can go forward one more block, but we'll hit the cemetery. So I'm just gonna turn up Commerce Ave. It looks like they're towing a vehicle in front of us, so I'm gonna go around. Let's see if we can go up this street right here. Now this is a one way but there would literally be no choice. There's a, a flatbed tow truck on my right. So we don't have a choice. We kind of got to either A, wait there for them, B, reverse, or C, go around. And I chose the, the latter. Let's make this right on Indiana Avenue. We already went left on 27th Street. So now we're traveling eastbound on Indiana Avenue. We're passing Taney Street. I do have a vehicle behind me, so I'm just gonna pull off to the side. The street's wide enough for people to go around us. Passing Bailey Street. We're at 26 and Indiana Avenue. We're passing Bambry, Bambry Street. We're passing Stillman. Now we're passing Taylor Street as well as Ringgold Street. Ringgold starts on our left and continues on our right. We're approaching the intersection of 24th and Indiana Avenue. Now we're passing Judson Street. Approaching Bonsall. And now hitting the intersection of 23rd and Indiana Avenue. We have a green light. So we're gonna continue traveling eastbound at 15 miles an hour. Now we're passing the 3000 block of Hemberger as well as Krosky Street on our right. Now we're at the intersection of 22nd and Indiana Avenue.
We're passing Van Pelt Street. We're at 21st and Indiana Avenue. We have a UPS driver making a drop off. Make sure he's not gonna jump out. We're passing Woodstock Street. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on 20th Street. We're at 20th in Indiana. Now there used to be factories and all these giant empty lots. You see like the one on my right? It used to be factories, but now as you can see it's fenced in. They demolished the factories. There's a big empty lot over here. Same rule applies. I'm gonna make this left on Toronto Street. We're passing Woodstock Street on our left hand side. 3000 block of North Woodstock Street. On our right, we have Lambert Street. Now we're at the intersection of 21st and Toronto Street. We have a 24 seven smoke convenience shop which looks relatively new. It looks like they opened it up recently. One thing I will make note of is after 2019 and 2020, when the lockdown happened and everyone had a self-sustain inside their homes, a lot of smoke shops popped up all throughout and around North Philadelphia. A lot of smoke shops. Before, if a person wanted to get their smoking supplies, they would just go to a corner store or maybe a gas station. Or maybe even one of the main smoke shops. But there were main smoke shops. There wasn't many of them, but there was main ones in main parts of the city. After the lockdown, all these private smoke shops with bulletproof plexiglass. Where you had to place your order behind the glass. And if you wanted a bag of chips or if you wanted... It was kind of like a convenience store slash smoke shop. Where they uh, uh, sold uh, hagilas, uh bongs, pipes, grinders, things of that nature. When they sold all that stuff, as well as your little snacks, your candies, you, you had to ask for it and they would give it to you through the glass or through the plexiglass. It wasn't like a traditional store where you can pick your items, take it up to the counter. No, many of these places that popped up are those type of businesses. I'm going to make a right here, even though it says do not enter, I'm gonna make a right and make a quick left because we can drive through Hamburger. This is Hamburger. So we're traveling northbound through Hamburger. Okay. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We could go another block forward, but make this left hand turn we're on Lippincott Lippincott Street the intersection of 23rd and Lippincott we're gonna go forward one more block and make a right hand turn on Fox Street Lippincott and Fox Street that's the intersection we're on I'm going to make a right-hand turn on Fox, the 3100 block of Fox, 3199 to be exact. Passing Judson Street on our left. And now we're about a quarter of a block shy of Allegheny Avenue in front of us. Now we can go past Allegheny Avenue if necessary, but I think I'm going to drive Allegheny eastbound for a block or two I have captured the tasty cake factory before 
in the Pep Boys headquarters over here in the area. I've captured that in, in previous videos in the past. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on the 2300 block of Allegheny Avenue. We have Boss Furniture on our left hand side. And we have a closer look at that rue graffiti that's running down the side of the building on my left. That's wicked. Cause you know, you either had two ways of getting that up there. A, a ladder. B, you can hang off of it. Pick your poison. Let's make this right hand turn on, uh, let's do 22nd Street, 22nd Street. I was gonna go up Hamburger, but Hamburger's uh, one way. We have a few more factories in front of us. Very large factories, but they're abandoned. We're at 22nd and Allegheny Avenue. We're next to the Maniunk Norristown line, the SEPTA Allegheny Transportation train station on our left. So if you wanted to go from county to county, or if you wanted to take a ride to, let's say, New Jersey, and so on, you can use the actual main train. I believe that's the Amtrak's. I could be wrong. Feel free to enlighten me. I'm not too familiar with the public transportation system. I've only taken the blue line train and the orange line subway. We're passing 22nd and Lippincott. But I know there's a lot more trolleys and, and other forms of transportation that you can use to go throughout the area. We're at 22nd and Clearfield. All right, we're traveling down 22nd Street once again. I'm gonna make a left-hand turn here on Indiana. We're passing the 2900 block of Van Pelt Street. We're at the intersection of 21st and Indiana. I'm gonna make a right-hand turn down 21st. passing Stella, Stella Street. And I would have went down Stella, but it would have taken us back to blocks that we've already drove through. We're at the 2100 block of Cambria. The intersection of 21st and Cambria Street. On our right, we got Fresenius Medical Care, Cambria Dialysis. On our right, you can see these homes have a little patch of grass in front of their property small lawn. We're at 21st and Somerset. 21st and Somerset. I'm going to make a left-hand turn here. These are the Woodstock Mutual Homes on our left-hand side. 
Woodstock Mutual Homes. All of these brown townhouses on our left. We're at 20th and Somerset Street. I'm gonna continue going up. Up being eastbound, we're traveling eastbound. Let's make this left hand turn on Opal Street. Opal, as in the color, Opal. Now this is a pretty tight block. pothole on my right hand side so I'm gonna brace myself just because some of these potholes can be treacherous I see a Chevy El Camino on my right I really like that body style Another pothole in front of us. We're gonna brace ourselves. And another pothole in front of us. I'm gonna go around it. We're exiting Opal, 2800 block of Opal. I'm gonna make a right. And we're gonna go down the 2800 block of Garnett Street. Looks like this building on my left uh, caught on fire. If you look at the front of it, it's not only boarded up, but you can see the remains of the fire smoke, the black smoke that ran up the side of the building. 2861 Garnett Street is vacant. We have a home on my right that looks like it was rehabbed rehabilitated you see 2838 on my right it's either a rehab home or the homeowner decided that they wanted a new style of of uh facade aka the facade of the house pretty much the face they just wanted a new face we have arizona tags on my right on that gray stinger We're entering the 2700 block of Garnett Street. South Carolina tags on my left. We're at Lehigh Avenue. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. We're gonna turn left. We're at 19th and Sedgley Avenue. I'm gonna go forward. We're now approaching Gratz Street. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on Gratz Street. We have the Wok Works Hala Stir Fry Farm to Fork food truck that just passed us on our left.
We're gonna make this right hand turn. I do have a vehicle behind me. No dumping sign, $300 fine on my right. Dumping on my left hand side. And there's a camera right here next to this no dumping sign. We're at the intersection of Sedgley Avenue and Somerset Street. We're gonna make a left down Sedgley Avenue. Now we're approaching the intersection of Sedgley and 17th Street. 